Hello and welcome back to the Antarium. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made those founding chambers I've been using for the Neo Panera Queens. These are very basic and only include one chamber and one water tower. This design can accommodate many different kinds of ants. Just keep in mind this one in particular is made specifically for Neo Panera, having larger tunnels and a larger space because they're a very large ant. If you haven't seen them already, I highly recommend you watch these videos that we made on how we currently make our formicariums. They are far more in-depth on the actual steps and better explain what you're going to be seeing right now. Here we're using a 4x4 four four inch square as our mold setup. Prior to making the mold, we went ahead and drew out our design so you can see the single chamber and the water tower position. As mentioned in the prior videos, we currently use aquarium silicone to hold these molds in place. Since this one only has one chamber, the sand part is pretty straightforward. You just make one hill of sand, you space it out, and clean it up, and you're ready to go. Don't forget to make a little valley for your water tower in the case that you want to be able to see the water level from the edge. It kind of gives an exposed area that you can see what's going on. Weigh down your water towers and pour your gypsum. Remember to avoid pouring directly on the sand as you might deform the chamber that you're trying to create. When you're done pouring, try to level it out. In this case, it uses spatula. There are some corners that didn't quite reach, and just kind of softly moving around allows the liquid to pour in and fill where it needs to go. I usually let mine dry for about six hours or more just to be on the safe side. The paint scraper looks really great on trying to remove the silicone glue afterwards. Once you've safely removed it, just inspect it, look for any deficiencies, things you can snip off or change, and get ready to rinse out the sand. Now when you're rinsing out the sand, this is the part where you find out what really happened, <laughs> and if you pour too fast or you change anything by mistake. And from what I can tell, this turned out exactly as intended. So the entire chamber is coated with sand, and there are no deficiencies, no holes, no areas ants can escape from, which is great. And a water tower is visible, and I can see it from the side to see how much water is actually in it. Next, we're drilling our single entrance hole. For the Neo Panera, we're making this hole a 3 fourths of an inch in diameter. The reason for this is one, they're a very large ant, two, I want them to have absolutely no problem taking in large prey items to the nest and then removing them afterwards as trash. Next we drill the holes for the water towers. Remember to be careful here and not actually drill all the way through your water towers. Then insert your coffee stirs and snip the edges off once you get them all the way in. With that, you're finished with the nest, and now I move on to the small outworld. The outworld will consist of an acrylic box. You can find these at Hobby Lobby or other craft stores. They're usually sold as a display kit for model cars. In the case of this build, I'm not going to the trouble of using mesh vents. I'm just drilling very small holes in a pattern across the top. Next is to make a hole. We're using a step drill bit set for 3 fourths of an inch to match our tubing for Neo Panera. You'll want to do this slowly to avoid cracking the acrylic. With this finished, you can then combine all the parts. Here is the completed product. In this case, I didn't use grout or anything. I just filled the bottom with sand. Just intended for Neo Panera. They don't need to have anything in there except for sand, food, and water. 
Over here over the nest, you can see we use museum glass with magnets on top, keeping it in place. Having this top-down view allows you to get really good lighting if you like to take photos and videos of your ants, especially in the founding stage. While this one was intended for Neo Panera, you of course can modify this design to change the diameter of the tube and the depth of chambers for virtually any ant you wish to keep. I hope this has inspired you to make some nests of your own. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.